Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another NBA video. And I said in the last video, I wasn't going to do any NBA videos for some time, but I just saw some off-season trades that just happened. We're going to go in and have a look. Now, I'll probably do videos every now and then when new trades come in. Of course, I think this just, this just dropped. So new headlines. We're going to start. There's two main um, trades. We're first going to start off with the Nuggets and Wizards. Now, uh, reports come in that the Nuggets acquire Catavius Cardwell Pope in trade with Wizards. So Wizards had Catavius uh, KCP uh, for the whole 2021 season. I think the bubble as well. And I think he was with the Lakers in the bubble. So Wizards had him. He, I think, honestly, he played very good uh, for the Wizards. So um, the Wizards received Will Barton, Monte Morris, in exchange for KCP and Ish Smith. So the Denver Nuggets reported um, Swingman are traded with multi popular sports deal with Wizards. So Nuggets receive KCP and Ish Smith, and the Wizards receive Monte Morris and Will Barton. Who would win this draft? Who would win this uh, trade? I'm probably going to say the Wizards, just because in round one of the playoffs, Monte Morris was great for the Nuggets when they versed the Warriors. They were amazing. Yes, they lost in five, um, in five, but Monte Morris hit the game winner against the Warriors. I'll, if I find a video, I'll show you. But he hit the game winner against the Warriors. Um, Will Barton will also help us, Nikola Jokic. So I think the Wizards win this uh, trade just because, yes, Nuggets get KCP, who's good at shooting and moving, They'll get that. KCP will have Jokic to work with Gordon when Jamal Murray comes back. Aaron Gordon, uh, Port, Porter Jr. comes back. Michael Porter Jr. I reckon Nuggets will. Ish Smith. I don't. I, don't, I haven't really heard much about Ish Smith, but KCP hundred percent. So Wizards definitely win this uh, trade for me. I reckon. Um, but also Nuggets do get KCP, who's pretty good and has finals experience with the Lakers. I think in the bubble, I believe he was with the Lakers. So they're the sources, acquired Denver, Will Bartons. Um, sweet. So if we look at this, uh, Catterwell Pope coming off a productive season with the Wizards stat-wise. He averaged 13.2 points a game, 3.4 rebounds, 1.9 assists, and 1.1 steals per game. In his long season with Washington. It was a very tough season for Washington last week, I don't know, last year. I don't know when they, where they finished or whatever, but that's very long there. Um... So he's up stick with from his numbers in the 2019, 2020, and 2020, 21 season. But his role play with the Lakers and key part of the Lakers championship. So yes, he was with the Lakers in the 2020 bubble. Uh, he played good along with LeBron James at AD. Um, Washington began the season by winning 10 of its first 13 games. So that's pretty good for Washington. When you see that, you're like, okay, uh, Washington's going to do very well. The trade was sent. Russell Westbrook to the Lakers was payment divided. So Russell Westbrook came from... Washington to the Lakers along and then Kyle Kuzma from the Lakers went to Washington. So uh with Kyle Kuzma, KCP, Montrez Hale continuing after going to Washington, the COVID protocols happen. So what Westbrook goes to Lakers, um KCP, Kyle Kuzma and Montrez Hale uh go to the Wizards. Now this stopped the, the playing tournament brings for long. So really now I would not really want to talk much about Smith here. Um, as I said to my guard, yeah. But there's really nothing to it. Barton, if we talk about Barton now, he leading in three-point shooters past three seasons. He averaged 14 points a game, five rebounds, four assists per game, and 71 games in this past campaign. So looking at that, pretty good. I reckon they'll fit in perfectly. Kuzma said, um, can't wait to have uh, Monte. We're up, great up first, eighth grade. Anyway, so that's really it. That's all we got to do. Nuggets get... Uh, KCP, Ish Smith, I don't know how good he is. Wizards receive Monte Morris and Will Barton. So that's the main trade that I saw coming. It came um, today at like 3.59am. So it's just come through. I want to get it over. And now another big trade that I've seen is the Spurs. The Spurs trade All-Star, Deontre, Deontre Murray. Deontre Murray. Um... What I think of that, Murray, um, to Hawks for D'Angelo Gallinari and three first-rounders. So, as you know, Murray, being an all-star, coming from Spurs, had a great outbreak season. Coming from the Spurs, all-star, all-star weekend. That was a good weekend for him, first-time all-star. 
So, so they're trading for DeAndre Garnari. So the Hawks get DeAndre Murray. The Spurs get DeAndre Garnari, 2023 first round via the Charlotte, which is a protected draft pick. 2025 first round, 2026 pick swap, one pick swap, and a 2027 first round pick. So, um, who wins that? Well, really, Spurs are trading one, um, Hawks are trading one player for one player. But I do reckon Hawks win it because they get Deontay Murray, Deontay Murray, um, you'll get Trey Young on the Hawks team, you'll probably get, I don't know, who else is on the Hawks team? I have no idea. But I reckon, yeah. So Spurs get more picks and a player. Hawks just get Murray. If we look at his stats here, let's get some stats. Uh, is there any stats here? Right, so with the 29th, 29th pick of the 2016 draft, Murray, 25 years old, earned his first All-Star nod in 2022, averaging a career-high 21 points per game with goes with 9.2 assists, 8.3 rebounds, 2 steals. Six-year veteran upgrades Atlanta backcourt. So you'll get, um, honestly, you'll get Trey Young as your partner with Murray if you go to the Hawks. You'll get trade partner with um, Trey Young. You'll probably get, if we go back, hold up. If we just go back to the teams and we go Hawks and we see their roster. So you'll get um, Bogdanovich. You'll get Clint Capella. You'll get John Collins when he's back and healthy. You'll get uh, D'Angelo Hunter. Kevin Knox, okay. Uh, you will get Trey Young. So yeah, um, Murray has a, another player of a partner or a teammate of Trey Young. Ice Trey, you know he'll be good. So that's the main two um, main trades happening. There's much more to go through. So, you know, the Jazz hire, uh, new coach, Celtics and coach, uh, Will Hardy. So a lot of stuff. Also, Harden declines option with sixes. So he declines the $47 million option. He intends to re-sign with sixes. Uh, we don't know how that's going to go with Joel Embiid, etc. Not much to talk about there. Not really much there. Averaging 22 points per game, 10 rebounds. So he's really a triple-double star, Harden. When the Nets, he was trip averaging a lot of points, rebounds, assists in Philly. He's getting a little bit worse, which is concerning. A little bit. So yeah, he'll re-sign with Harden anymore. I don't think, of course, we'll um, buy it with the Rockets. I reckon Clippers will be... Talking about Clippers for a bit. I reckon they're a shot at the finals or playoffs next year. Having John Wall, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, all those guys, the Clippers are a shot at the finals, I reckon. Not for, Probably not finals, but playoffs, definitely, if they get a good start going. That's really it. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, of course. James Wiseman getting ready for the Summer League. That's coming up very soon. We play for the Summer League. We take on, on Sunday, we take on the Kings in the Las Vegas Summer League. Uh, it's mainly all the teams, Lakers, Kings, Warriors, Heat. The Summer League, uh, 9.30 Sunday, Warriors, Kings at Chase. I think both games are at Chase. I believe so. So Summer League coming up soon. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Murray to Hawks. Um... Murray to Hawks, Casey Peter Nuggets, a lot's going on, more trade videos coming when I see new trades pop up. Anyway, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, watch this playlist here, subscribe. Anyway guys, till next time, draw life and have fun. Peace.